Welcome to the lesson on creating writing effects using motion. It's really one of my favorite techniques. This is brought to you by eLearning Art, but inspired by many others. I give it a two out of five stars. It's not too hard to do. You just need the right assets. And the assets you're going to need are hand cutouts and a handwritten font. Uh, to get fonts, um, you can just go to the eLearning Art website and on the left nav, click, click fonts. And uh, what I usually work with with my hand cutouts, I have 25 of each hand cutout, men and women, and I actually have three different skin tones that I work with so that I can match uh, the skin tone with the appropriate character. So here's the effect again. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is really a five-step process, and the first one uh, or two don't really need to be there. It's setting up your environment is the first step, and what I do is I always have the custom animation pane and the selection and visibility pane open. This allows me to deal with my animations, and the selection and visibility pane allows me to deal with my layering. Um, the second step is creating a surface. So in PowerPoint, I just created uh, a rectangle and filled it with one of PowerPoint default surfaces that looks like wood and with the paper um, I just had a white box that I put a drop shadow on and you can learn that in another lesson. Step three is to choose a handwriting font um, and what I did was I took uh, a font from the Rapid eLearning blog. Uh, Tom Coleman had posted up um, some fonts that he created himself. Uh, you, there's also other places you can go. Uh, eLearning Art, there's some uh, lessons on, on uh, where you can find resources and lessons. And getting into the nitty-gritty here, um, the effect is really two different things. Um, you have uh, your writing here that's underneath the hand, and let's go ahead and hide the hand so you can see what's going on. So this is just text that's in here, and all I've done is I've applied a wipe effect. So if we want to look at that effect, it's just entrance, wipe, and then I have it going from left to right. So if I preview that, this is what it looks like. Right? Really easy. Um, step five is the motion path for the hand. So let's go ahead and hide the writing and show... Oops, let's hide that. Okay, now what I've done here is I've created a custom motion path. So let's go ahead and preview what that motion path looks like. Right, if I wanted to go ahead and do the same thing again, I could delete this one and just create a motion path. So let's go here, add effect, motion path, custom path, scribble. So I would just be kind of writing, writing. Let's see how that looks. Let's go ahead and preview that. All right, so the tricky part is getting these things to sync up. So let's go ahead and have the text there. Again, we're going to want to have them synced. So let's go here and start with previous, and let's preview them. Now it just happens that worked out pretty well. A couple of things that make it easier. Um, if you had the text box above the handwriting, it makes it a lot more difficult to get the timing right. Right, so you saw right here it had the text show up over the hand. Um, so that's really what you're doing is uh, setting those two up and syncing it. You can sync the speed uh, with medium, slow, fast, very fast. So let's do a quick review of the process. You need to set up your environment. You need to create a surface. You need to choose a handwriting font. You need to use a wipe animation for your writing and a custom motion path your hand. You can visit elearningart.com for more lessons or to buy hand packs yourself. You can also create them yourself by cutting out the background. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. I look forward to bringing you more.